Some traders at the Kumasi Central Market are refusing to relocate for the start of phase two of the KJTI redevelopment project. William Evans Zenkum has more in the following report. One, 6,000 shops are ready at the new KJTI to host the 6,000 people or traders from the old market. Just to pave way for the commencement of the second phase. Secondly, a school of thought believed that there is a political undertone. But what exactly is the fear of the authority to force these traders out in order to pave way for the commencement of the second phase of the project? But let's drop the theory and face reality. Now, the big issue has to do with the fragile nature of the old KJTI market, as you can see. The staircase has already developed cracks making it very dangerous for habitation. And for us, we feel everybody is being satisfied. The place that they are going to work is a very conducive area, good atmosphere, good environment than this. But you can see the comfort zone always speaks for them. So the place is set for them to come in. Are they paying for the new place? Yes, they pay 20% and then extend one year for the rest of the payment. Those who don't have the money? It's negotiable. I don't think there's any problem. So all these shops are supposed to be closed for the commencement of the first phase of the KGTR new market. But as you can see, they are still operating because movement has also become a bit of problematic. So officials from the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly together with some officials from the contractor have been engaging traders here just to persuade them to move to the new market in order to commence the first phase of the second phase of the KJTR redevelopment project from the Kumasi Central Market, William Evans Income. TV3 News.